In this part, we are focusing on adding the active style to the navbar. So when the user is inside the user page, this button should turn green. And if the user is inside the home page, the home button should also turn green. So we first go to our navbar.js and so first of all we have to import the use router from the next router and then under this navbar we are going to create a constant router is equal to use router and then we try to console log the router to see what inside these informations. So now we go to the developer console and now if we go to the home page we can see we have the path name we can see we have the path name of forward slash and if we go to the users we can see we have the path name of users so we can make use of this path name to determine whether we should add the active class or not so we back to our project and go back to these two link and instead of using this active we are going to use to see whether the router dot path name is equal to forward slash if this is equal to forward slash then we use the styles dot active and this is because we have this active class inside this CSS style so we back to the navbar.js and we continue if this is not equal to forward slash then we just return a empty string so now if we go to click on the home page and now you can see the home button become green so we do a very similar things inside the user link so we add the class name at here but this time we use the forward slash users so we are going to see whether the path name is equal to forward slash user if yes it will change to active class otherwise it will do nothing so now we can go to here and see whether it turned green if we go to the user page and yes it's also turned green so this is how to add the active class to our website